Hey guys, Tim here again, and uh, it was really weird timing. I just got a call from uh, a wildlife biologist over in Hawaii that I've been talking to and communicating with. He uh, he gave me all the rules on on how to hunt in Hawaii and what I need to know, what calibers are acceptable, what length of firearms, the whole nine yards. And then he gave me a map on where to find the stuff I'm going to be hunting over there. Just really cool guy, really outstanding guy. He asked me how the weather is over here, and I told him, well, there's this fiery red ball that makes light that I've heard of. We haven't seen it in five months, but uh, I think it's going to come back. <laughs> and he laughed, and uh, he asked me, uh, he, you know, just a bunch of stuff if I'm ready to go. And I said, well, I'm practicing right now. I've got my 7 millimeter Magnum. As we speak, I'm setting up. To do some 500 yard shots that I will be doing on the volcanic rim over there and uh, that's basically what I'm training for right now is to be ready for that and uh, so I know where where I need to be on my crosshairs uh, so I can't wait this is gonna be a great hunt uh, I'll, I'll do another video here in a second showing where my 7 mag hits at 500 yards All right, guys, our target is down there. And uh, there it is, 500 yards away, exactly. Uh, Tim and Rondé here, we're at McDonald's in Maui. Okay, they got some different stuff on the menu. Usually I hate McDonald's, but they got rice, Portuguese sausage, and eggs for breakfast. And we're about to find out what this is. This is, this thing's called a taro pie. And Rondé's gonna help me eat half, right? Uh, no, I'm not. That look like pure <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> hey, you wanna try it? No, thank you. All right. I am good. I'll eat it. You wanna show the eggs in the up close? Mm. Dude, it's not bad. That's cool. It's not that bad. That looks good for McDonald's, bro. Yeah, it does. Dude, this is not bad. Okay. I don't know what it is. But I, it... I trust you, Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> Low quat. I'll try anything once. Hmm. <laughs> we are in the Hawaiian jungles on a road called Haleakala. And so they got these crazy fruit stands that are just on the side of the road. So... I'm going to try something called an apple banana. I have never heard of that. So I'm not allergic to apples. I mean, I'm allergic, not allergic to bananas, but I am allergic to apples. So I might half break out, not half break out. So we'll see how this turns out. But they're pretty cool. They got like mangoes, like fresh off the tree. And then they got something called loquats, which... What do they taste like, Tim? Oh man, they're delicious. Are they really? Are they like little like uh, tangerines or? I wouldn't compare them to anything, anything really. These are the most delicious thing I've ever had. And then they have something called a chermoya. Yeah. Which is known as the custard apple. They taste exactly opposite of what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wild mangoes! No way. All right, guys, check out the eucalyptus forest. Me and Aronde here are on the Hawaii hunt in Maui, and we're getting into the hunting area. And this this is just really cool forest. It's starting to look really neat now. All right, guys, so we are hunting Hawaii, and uh, this is all deer trail right here. All this, th there's deer trails everywhere going up the side of this trail. This is your day of execution. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. There's the jungle. Me and Aronde, are, we're on the Hawaii hunt right now. I'm back in my native lands, Ungawa. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is, this is awesome, dude. Wow, look at that over there across. Yeah. And there is deer sign everywhere. I just think we're a little bit too late in the day. Okay, guys, bird's eye view of Maui. 
down there in the more desert flatland it's where I'd like to hunt and then you got the ocean right down there and the wind farm with the windmills up there and the jungle going up up country The island is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Really? Yeah, it really isn't that big at all. No, this island is pretty big. I mean, when you can see the ocean from both sides. Well, it's because it juts out and then you can tell it wraps around because you can see the coastline. Yeah. But you can do that in California too, though. I mean. All right, we're here. Not in the Scottish Highlands, but in the Hawaii Highlands. Aye, it reminds me of home I want to wear a cult and yell FREEDOM! Ah, here's where they've been drinking water. Absolutely thrilling. Me and Aronde are out here in the Hawaiian Highlands. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> Dude. I busted a mouflon sheep and an axis deer. Hit the axis or shot at the axis deer. The adrenaline was high. Don't know if I hit him for sure. He bolted. Then mouflon come out of nowhere, and I bust one of them. So Ronde and I are going over looking for blood right now. Most exciting hunt ever. We went from the highlands to the eucalyptus forest and the desert and now this looks like almost like savanna area here this is really cool we're gonna try this for deer we have been seeing a lot of deer hit and miss in different spots but uh this place is really gorgeous Wow. Okay guys, we got a mouflon sheep. He's, I don't know if I can get him in the sight here. No, there he is. He's still on the same spot he was when he left. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can get him. I'm setting up to take his shot for a mouflon sheep that's a little far away at the top of the rocks. I'll try to zoom in, see if we can get him. Walking down. Take your time, man, because it's windy out here. Take him dead. Man, guys, I came down here to get my mouflon sheep. My African mouflon that I shot. This uh, volcanic, the sun off this volcanic rocks is just brutal. <sighs> but I'm looking for my goat. I, I know I hit him. guys, me and Aronde here in Hawaii, I just busted a mouflon, he was gorgeous, knocked him off this lava face rock, and uh, we're going down, we're going to drive a little closer, because the hike is going to suck, but we're going to drive down there and get our critter, but here's where we're hunting, this place is stunning. Okay guys, I just rolled a mouflon, African mountain sheep, right up on top. I rolled him off of that hill and he's in that gully and it's gonna be a bummer going up there to get him. Oh my god, so there's a mouflon and there's a deer all in one spot. Okay, I'm shooting it. Oh my gosh. 
Dude, the whole hillside is loaded with critter. Hey guys, I am looking. I just got one mouflon sheep, but uh, I'm looking for that trophy. And I just saw a buttload of them over here. But I don't want to just shoot anything. I'm after that monster. I mean, we got tons, tons of goats here. St. Joseph Church, look at that. Established in 1862, definitely. That's crazy. Oh, cool. Okay, guys, we are in Calpo. This is the general store of Calpo. This is the part of the island much less seen. Dude, this is the way nobody ever sees. Ah, this is nice. Well, I this wish you were all mine, but it's not. It's my family. Wow. This is nice. I just am a caregiver. That's cool. This no. is like out of a total movie, like what you see. Like an island movie to me. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. This is nice. Okay, guys, we are going on our hunt here in Hawaii. We just got invited to do this hunt on private property for pigs. There's uh, some nuisance, nuisance boars here. And we've already seen tracks, so we're going to cover the tracks. And we are on safari. And this property is just really cool. Oh, okay. I thought you were wearing it for a different reason. <laughs> uh, all the fruits here, guys. This is really cool. Guys, if anybody gets this message, you're never going to believe this. We're actually a couple of 13 year old kids. We're playing this game, this video game. And then we ended up in the jungle here, and uh, we're like in, in these avatars, man. And, and he, he actually is his weakness is cake in real life. <laughs> uh, but uh, now we're going up these stairs into this uh, Jumanji adventure. Who knows what's up here? Uh, all I know is, is my name is Dutch Shaper, and that's my character. And here is... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name from Predator. The... <laughs> What's that guy's name I say you look like all the time? Uh, no, his name is Bill Duke. Bill Dukes. Life. That's the guy. We got Bill Dukes here. So we're ready to go up here. Bill Dukes, get the minigun. Come on. I'm going to have me some fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. We are going up the stairs in the jungle here. And there's supposed to be pigs and deer and all kinds of stuff up at the top. I gotta say, this is the most exotic hunt I've ever done. And right now, to tell the truth, we're really just kind of scouting it out, seeing what's here ahead of time. But, uh, pretty awesome. Wow. How cool is this? Spider, oh yeah, I saw the spiders. Oh, we got pig trails. I hope this denseness opens up. This is, this is no joke. This is like. This ain't no joke. This is like the jungle jungle. I hear you. Shit makes Cambodia look like Kansas. <laughs> you were waiting for it, I know. Yeah, I know. Wow, this stuff is for real. This is no joke. Hawaiian Outback, we're hunting in here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that there's a 
These are a bunch of big acorns. <laughs> okay, we're doing the drive through through Hannah. Uh, it's weird because it's got a nice road going through Hannah, but the uh, Turn left on Road. The road on the way up here really sucks. And here's Hannah. Here's this uh, town everybody's always talking about that they need to see. Food trucks. Yeah, that smells like some pretty good food trucks, actually. I think there might be the restaurant up there. Oh. And that's Hannah. Don't blink. Oh, it's got a gas station, too. little pineapples so that's a pineapple plant everybody pretty cool well they they certainly do have some mighty big acorns around these parts <laughs> Hey guys, Tim here again. I'm taking a little break. I'm in the Hawaiian Highlands, and uh, you could really call this the Hawaiian Outback. This is a uh, eucalyptus tree behind me, and this is what I'm hunting in is a forest of eucalyptus. It's really gorgeous. It's warm out. Uh, no winter, so. And, uh, as for me, I just got the trophy I was after just now. Way, way up on top of this, this mountain behind me. He's a trophy, so I'm going to be going up there to look and find him. About 500 yards, all your shots around here. Domestic sheep. You know, a lot of hunters come in here, they pay $8,000 to hunt here, and you know, you can hunt all the same species that I'm hunting. I don't have $8,000, and it's a ranch hunt, and I would have no respect for myself if I did that. Oh, here come the mouflon, they're coming down fast. Uh, I just bagged a trophy. I came out here, I worked for it, I learned the country, spent the time, and uh, that's what hunting's about. That's what it's made of. I'm not from around here. I don't hunt warm climate, you know, but this is the most exciting hunt I've ever done and the uh, the first out-of-state hunt I've ever done. It's amazing. There's I still haven't found the one thing I'm looking for. I've seen the axis deer come across pigs, uh, come across lots of mouflon, bagged two of them. Uh, just haven't seen that Corsica ram that I'm looking for. Uh, he's beautiful though. And there's some gorgeous pheasants out here. I might get my bird tag and try to bag some of them. All right, I will carry on up the mountain. Look at this terrain, guys. This is the part of Hawaii 
you're never gonna see on the brochure. This is the rustic part of Hawaii, the highlands. When I first came here, I started talking to people and uh, people just assume I'm a local as they call them. You know, uh, a few uh, tourists, I don't stick out as one. I've been making friends with tourists, or, uh, tourists and with the locals and the locals just assume I'm one of them. And it's pretty cool. I get along great with them. They're awesome people. Partied a little too hard night before last. Drank uh, way too much. I haven't drank that much since I was 25. Uh, I kept up with them though. I did pretty good. I didn't have a hang much of a hangover. I puked once. It's not bad. It's not bad because we were mixing booze and partying pretty good. And I was up for hunting. So uh, it's brutal when you try and do that. But uh, I've been spear fishing and hunting out here, getting along with the locals, awesome people. This is the way to do Hawaii. This is the part of Hawaii that most people are never gonna see. Okay guys, I'm at the top. This is a crossbreed between a domestic. He's got the, uh, he's got the straight horns, whereas the purebred will have the, uh, the twisted horns, which is kind of a bummer. Hey, he's part domestic goat and part uh, mountain, uh, which is okay, I guess. I guess they would crossbreed. That's just something you gotta deal with. You've got rainforest, you've got desert, you've got highlands, you've got eucalyptus forest, the beach, grasslands, tall grasslands. You got, it's amazing. I, I don't know how, because it's not very big. I can see the ocean on both sides from up here. This, this island is not that big. He's pretty small, so I won't have much of a problem once I debone him. Hey guys, there's no kind of I'm in the jungle. I am in the jungle. And uh, I just passed up on an axis deer doe. I wish I wouldn't have because now I'm not seeing any. Uh, thought I was going to get up close to one of those bucks. But uh, alright, I'm going to go into the jungle here. And I'm always hearing sounds out here. Uh, I'm going into the jungle to see if I can get closest to uh, to the herd. Huh. Mystery fruit. Yet another strange island growth I found, guys. I don't know what it is. Huh, guys, how cool is this? A boar jaw from a wild boar. That is pretty cool. I'm taking the tooth. Hey guys, so I did it. Went to Hawaii, hunted. Extremely impressed by the Axis deer. Amazing animal. I was impressed by everything I hunted over there and the challenges were all very unique. It's a very awesome place with a bunch of different places with a bunch of different microclimates that made it really fun. <laughs> but I got her done. So anyway, here's the video and I hope you guys enjoy it.